Chem Alonso from Salamanca, Spain. I'm artist since I was a child. <laughs> I study fine art, but I'm uh, autodidact, uh, self-educated too, okay. mostly I think. And I paint, I draw, uh, I design music, I design graphics. I think art is everything and I need, I don't have uh, rules, only tools to explain that I see uh, to the world. <laughs> uh, I'm living in Salamanca since I was uh, 11 years old. I came from my small village to study first in the primary, uh, it's not high school, it's primary school still uh, with a, um, a sport grant and I was amazed with the beauty, beautiful city and the, the old mixed with the modern buildings but people think it's not modern but I think it's um, um, it's a, a thing that uh, inspired me a lot. It's that uh, the way that Salamanca um, take the old to make the new. And I think it's not a conservative way. It's only uh, to make um, an, an, an not traditional. Uh, it's to Mix. Conserve mm -hmm. the old and integrate it into the new. Yes, to to not losing losing the the roots. Yes. So I did um, integrate the fine art into pop art because I think a pop art is the most popular way or language to understand uh, people around the world. It's a universal language. And it's uh, a two ways, a highway of two lam uh, two lamps, yes. Um, I love pop, but at the same time I hate that because sometimes it uh, make us uh, uh, unify everything, and I like to change. The, the rule of that and use pop to the, the, uh, to discover people the um, individuality not, uh, against individualism yes I think uh, everything has two faces as a coin and I would like to say that I'm working on the age of the coin while they are ruling you know, and rounded and it depends the way of the um, the coin falls, but I try to go right, talking every time. I'm a supplier, <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, is the um, the finally. The, the, I think this, that's the mission of art, and it's the work of the artist to feed uh, day by day and the life and uh, above all the consciousness of people and it's so tired but if, um, I think uh, pop must be in all the realms in the art uh, from the price to the audience and uh, it's not only the style or um, an aesthetic uh, style no I think pop is uh, a way to Rich audience, but to show to the audience, to teach to the audience, and to be um, uh, close to the audience, and the audience close uh, among us. I think it's really important. It's a, an important way of communication um, uh, through the people, through the history, through the things that uh, the perspective of everyone. I think it's important the um, the, communi the communication uh, uh, among people 
and not only with the artists. It, it, since I was a child, I was drawing with my finger on the floor because I was born in the Frankism in a rural place, small. We have no pencils or pens, and I drew in while the other boys was running or uh, killing small animals. I was sit down on the floor reading uh, or writing or or um, drawing on the floor with my floor, with my finger. I love the underground draw drawers, uh, comic drawers from Spain and artists. They have no um, um, academic uh, uh, teaching or no. And I love that this uh, wild expression, <laughs> yes. I did have an inf a strong influence on me, but when I came to the faculty, they pushed me to be expressionist. And I hate that. <laughs> but uh, when I was in the four courts, I um, forget my pop idea of art and start to paint that they like, but uh, uh, with my content, and make a really big, uh, um, depressive uh, um, uh, paintings. Uh, uh, one of my partners in work uh, buy to me one, and it was amazing with my, um, the, this is the painful, uh, painful paint, and it's really painful, and it has on, um, it still has on his, uh, in, on his, not his room, in the dining room. And say, oh, how do you eat with that? <laughs> Watching that is, is not disgusting, but it's not funny or, no, I don't know. <laughs> and when I watch, I'm surprisingly, it's a still surprise because, I think the relation between artists are changing and it's changed. It's, cha it's, it's changing. <laughs> it's still changing to the in, in individuality, so much individuality. I was part of an artist collective in, in Salamanca. And we, we were a lot of people working together in the early 19s to the beginning of the, the 20th century. Uh, we worked together, we uh, um, organized events to make a collective exhibitions with people from another, uh, no, no, our generation only, and uh, to, to make a, a chain and connect uh, artists from different generations to show different perspectives because I think it's really important to to show together a bigger perspective yes, of everything. There is a big industry, of course, and this is the elite of art. And I think is uh, most of them are false, and it's a uh, really hypocrite. The because they are uh, talking about change the world and be uh, um, to awake the consciousness of people, but with their money. I really was scandalized last, uh, or annoyed, sorry. Uh, one of day of this, uh, this week, in the morning watching the news, I watched that uh, the Biennale of uh, Venice was uh, the, the star piece art was the uh, a boat who was um, sunk. sunk on the ocean uh, transporting migrants and it was the, the principal piece of the exhibition. I think how much money do you need to take the boat? To Venice, why do you don't uh, spend this money saving lives? Yes, I think. And how much money uh, earn the curator? <laughs> and uh, see, uh, uh, she's, uh, his or she, I don't know, is telling us that you must uh, be conscious about that. 